So, Jock, you actually, you've been kind of collecting a list of questions and topics from viewers and listeners. So we've been going off of those. I'll let you tee one up because I think it's a good topic. Um, and I know that we could spend plenty of time on it. So what's been on your mind? Yeah, so what I want to talk about, you know, which is, this is a good topic. And everybody in the past I always brought this up. But do you truly think that you can fall in love with somebody that you, like, never met and just text over the, you know, text and talk to over the phone? Like, you never physically met in person. You know, in my opinion on that, I don't think you can. Um, I know from experience, right? So it's some people I, I met over, you know, websites in the past. And stuff was cool. You know, when you're talking, things are good. You're hearing a voice, texting. Stuff is like, you know, like, oh, I like this person or whatever. And then you end up realizing when you meet them in person, it's just not the same because you're not seeing the same mannerisms, the smells. There's so many other variables that go into, you know, like the word love and actually liking somebody. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just a strong infatuation and not love personally. I'm not saying you can't really like somebody a lot, but I don't think love. So that's why that, that show, what was that show, Too Hot for TV or the one yeah, where they- Too Hot, too hot to Handle. Handle, yeah. <laughs> too Hot to Handle, my bad. I'm thinking of that. Too, too, I guess. But yeah, so like, I really just don't buy into that, man. You can't love somebody, you know. In a perfect world, that'd be great, but we just live in a world where seeing something, you know, physically and like seeing them in person just matters. Like, I'm sorry, it does, you know. Yeah, I would agree. I mean, I've had um, plenty of people that from the past, you know, I guess back then I was like, you know, 18, 20, right, somewhere right. in that range. So it's hard to remember. Or it's hard to think about what it would be like now. But I mean, plenty of people that I had spoken with most primarily on social media or texting mm -hmm. and really didn't spend much time with them in person. I mean, not that I'd never met them, you know, mm -hmm. but there's like a certain chemistry that you develop, like a nonverbal chemistry, you know, where you can get on like the same brain level, the same wavelength as somebody. Yeah. yeah. And I don't, I don't know that you can really get that if you're just texting. I mean, you can get on the same level to a certain extent, but it's not quite that, you know, you can look at somebody and tell exactly what they're thinking, you know, and be on the same page all of a sudden and just kind of like, Hey, let's get out of here, you know, or something like right. that. Or, you know, um, if you piss somebody off, you can just see by the way they look sometimes. You're like, all right, shit, I got it. I'm in trouble, you know? All right, just the subtle clues. I feel you. You don't get but that, I, like, just from texting, you know? Yeah, now, do you think that with, you know, the texting and calls, so now we have FaceTime and Zoom and all this stuff, you think that actually could help or not really? I do think it can help. I think it can keep, like, if you have a long-distance relationship or something like that, I think it can keep that flare going. Because, I mean, you still see the person to a certain extent. Um, I'm going to say something about that, man. I'm glad you brought that long distance up. I don't think that would ever work ultimately. You know, and the reason why is because somebody's going to fuck up some kind of way or just going to, like, dwindle. Because you have to see your significant other. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Now, if you guys, like, have plans on moving where the other person's at and it's very temporary, yeah, it'll work. But if this right. person lives out there and it's no no plans on anybody moving towards any place, nah, I don't think it's going to work. I'm with you on that. Because the whole, like, love languages thing, I think I'm, like, the quality time one. Mm -hmm. Where, you know, I might not even spend much time on the phone, texting, talking, whatever. But when I'm with that person, like, all my time is dedicated to that person. Right. And I enjoy, you know, kind of having that reciprocity. But I can't imagine... You, you know, losing that. I mean, spending quality time like texting. Like, I mean, I guess you could, quality time. you could get creative with somebody, you know, yeah. like you can get creative with like, like, Hey, let's text while we watch a movie or like, let's, you know, whatever I, it might be. Right. And I actually done that too, where, you know, I watched the movie and like we were texting the whole time or FaceTime or something where, you know, it was creative because you know, the same parts or whatever. Um, so you definitely can get creative. So I agree with you on that. Sure. I think it can help though, like with long distance relationships, I think it can help keep those, like you said, like those periods apart. It, mm -hmm. it makes those seem a little bit shorter, I would imagine. Yeah. But I don't know that you can build something of deep meaning, you know, off of only that. I, I can see you getting like a really good foundation and then, you know, you meet somebody and then you take it to another level or maybe it 
you know, crashes and burns or whatever the case is. But I think that you have to eventually have that in person. Not that you have to, but I, for me, I don't think I would have ever – I mean, because I guess what's the end game, you know? Like, right, exactly. And with humans, like, we need touch. We need physical, not in a sexual way, but we need to be near. Just like what's going on in the right. pandemic right now. When I saw, like, all y'all or Chance, you know, when I saw him in person, you know, it felt good. Like, just seeing, like, you know, another friend and just being close, like, it felt good, you know, because we can't be alone. So all the people that's out there, oh, I'm going to be alone for the rest of my life and I can be alone, that's bullshit. You can't be alone, like, ultimately. Yeah, I mean, you need some kind of human interaction. I mean, you could be alone at your billion-dollar mansion, you know, just with unlimited social media followers, and you could be the loneliest person in the world. In the world and miserable, yep. Fact. So, I mean, it's – and to each their own. I think some people truly are more, hey, I want to be an introvert. I just want to be alone most of the time. Mm-hmm. But I do think that you got to have some kind of meaningful – time spent with one another in person yeah and i mean you pick up people's kind of like their auras in a sense you know and like you can pick things up with instinct that you can't always pick up without seeing somebody you know like sometimes people have a certain glow to them that you're like all right you're in a really good mood or something happened like i can detect something you know there's science to that you know and energy too that it can get past like energy bad energy you can tell you know the chakras the vibrations (laughs) yeah it's true though you know like if you're not in that presence with somebody you can't always pick that up i mean they can tell you this is where i'm at but it's not the same as just full-on you know seeing and, and empathizing with them in person you know right and also back to the whole text messaging thing that gets so like misconstrued so much because you can't tell a person's tone or right. anything. So that's how a lot of arguments starts through text messaging, you know. So I don't. That brings me back to my point more that I don't think you can actually fall in love with somebody <laughs> who you just like texting all the time, you know. Not really soon. That would be too hard dating from texting only, and then, like you said, even like long distance, like <sighs> it's doable, but they're challenging, you know. And there's certain things that you have to include to make them work and i think those are some things you can do to help you know for sure but uh i tried I, in the past and me personally it never worked for me i've seen others try it too and it never ultimately worked for them i'm not trying to be negative or anything because it's hard i know some people it does work because you guys actually plan on moving like near each other once again but the success rate hasn't been too high you know let's put it like that <laughs> yeah i've only i mean i haven't been in many but yeah kind of the same thing just kind of fizzles out 